Greetings, creators. Well, we're doing a collaboration, Sharon, myself, are doing a Peacock collaboration. And we love just connecting up with other artists and sharing a concept and just chatting about it and seeing what we come up with separately and bringing them together. And we hope that our inspirational movements and peace uh, helps you break some of the fear and restrictions and limitations we place upon ourselves when we go, it's time to create. So our theme is Peacock, and we're trying our hardest to keep with the abstract notion, but for myself, I can already see how I want to go with the movement and flow of pulling the resin so that it has the Peacock feather feel. Well, it's time to do the collaboration pull, and it's Peacock influenced, as I've already spoken about. So I'm going to be using Lorez Bright Gold, Lorez Blue Sapphire, Lorez Orbegin. Why do I keep having them out of camera shot? Lorez Fresh Mint. Why am I having to sing? And Lorez Blue Green. Now. I was going to use some pink, but I'm not going to. I'm going to keep it very traditionally peacockish. And on my substrate, which is a 65 centimeter square canvas, I have done three coats of a deep sea. And it was part of my massive spill the other day. So this is really, really well tightened canvas. And because I'm going to be using an abstract concept, I'm going to be using my hands to create shapes with these peacock colours. And I am really have this feeling that no matter how much I try and it doesn't have to look like a peacock, part of me just is going to be wanting to get peacock feather concepts in there because I just can't resist that look, feel, and I just really am looking forward to getting my fingers in and doing things like this. So let's see how we go.
so much for it being abstract for me. I couldn't help but make the pattern of the peacock feather. Um, even though my side bits of the feather kind of remind me of the spider web move that we can do. But I just really love these little bits of flying peacock feather. And makes me imagine that the peacock's just shaken this feather out of its tail. And, you know, it's once again one of those ones that are just so difficult to capture on camera. The texture of the canvas with the different um, colours coming up through the blue sapphire that I used from the res and I kept that so that it was kind of had a level of transparency and you can see those lines through onto the back of this creation giving it even more depth and it is oh, it just seems ridiculous looking at it through the camera and trying to show you because you know in its entirety you can't see it's really beautiful features unless I go like this for you to see the way that the resins have interacted with each other. Yes, it's gonna need a flood coat. I can see dimpling and so can you. But, you know, it's a beautiful, beautiful creation and the line work is glorious in the way that there are tiny little cells emerging and Larez's bright gold is separating and floating to the top giving the feather even more kind of dimension than I was anticipating and the inner parts of these colors here oh by the way this pink that I added that I didn't talk about at the beginning is a sample that Susanna sent me and I don't know what one it is maybe it's the hot pink of the neons but you know I can't I'm not disappointed in this at all. My disappointment is, is how terrible it looks through the camera. Okay, so let's set this to cure and I'll come back and see if I want to do a second coat on it and let's look at it tomorrow or the next day. Oh, nice. So it's so hard for me to show you this, but let's just keep going with it. I'm wanting to add some more contrast into it, so... I'm going to apply a loose layer of resin, meaning that it's not going to be covering the whole thing. And then I will apply a flood coat and hope for the best. Because whilst I do like it a lot, I just felt like it was missing that bit of something. So the first thing that I'm doing right now is just dappling away and adding some black. Um, and I know that black seems to be a contrary colour to what people would think about brightening up, but sometimes black really works. Like dark, you know, it's the notion of low lights rather than high lights. And I don't know if I spoke to you much about these little deliberate crates, but when I was preparing the uh, canvas, I made a decision that I really wanted to have some texture and depth. And one of the things I thought about that I know creates de texture and te depth, God, I can't even talk, that we often try to avoid is crates. So I stuck my finger in silicon and dappled the, um, not the whole canvas, but mainly around the areas there. You can see here that it's free of it. Um, just to help uh, get some depth and texture. So I'm probably going to stop talking soon because, you know, I don't know about you, but when I get into my creative flow, I like to, well, I don't even like to, I just tend to go really quiet. Um, so off I go. I'm going to be quiet now so I can concentrate on what I'm doing. I can see that the black is bringing some of this forward it's making the yellow look brighter so I'm not going to put it everywhere just in some areas and then I'm going to add a little bit more color and then tomorrow we'll come back and flood coat it and then it's going to be time to show everyone I'm really excited to see how Sharon's going she's had such a massive um 
month or so she's moved house set everything up and really looking forward to some of her creations over the coming months as she becomes more settled into her life and her new studio area um we you know how unnerving it is to move house oh all right i think that might be it for talking but remember it could be a false alarm too because it is me after all I'm um, kind of really enjoying doing this dappling and you probably can't see too much of it the effect that it's making from up there so once I stop talking I'll be able to actually fast forward this part for you for your um, viewing pleasure rather than just listening to me rabbity 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 on all right that's really it over and out zip it
well looks so different to what it did before and it's going to look amazing with its final layer on I think from where you saw it looks like I was making a disaster but everything I was doing is adding effects and depth and once again it's one of those really difficult things to capture um, I'm not too sure if I like how much white I've added but I think when I'm out in the natural light it will be really really quite spectacular because it's really allowed it to sing and this center part with the extra gold is really looking good so tomorrow we're up to our final part which will be our flood coat to get it all nice and even and lush and flush and I will have to think about whether or not I'm going to add any glitter into that and I think I probably shouldn't it's quite shiny enough and we can't even see how shiny it is because we don't have the proper sunlight or reflective lights on it but we can tell that it's pretty impressive all right see you tomorrow